Yeah, it's been a bit up and down, if I'm honest. Uh, we started well, we've had some great results against Arsenal, and then we've dipped against the, the lesser teams. Nothing we can really put our finger on. We just know that we need to be more consistent. Uh, we're stronger than we were last year, I believe that. Um, you know, we've played some, some great football. Uh, but we've been really, really unlucky with goals that have conceded and the results that have gone against us. So we need to tighten up a little bit in, in terms of that. But, you know, obviously this is my focus now is the Olympics. But once once that's over, it's back to back to club duty. And it's self-sufficient. You know, you've got to realise we're not linked to any men's club. So we do a lot of work in the community and, and very well supported by our, our chairman, Ray True, who, who looks after the women's team. And it's probably the most professional club I've ever been at in terms of the amount that we train and, and the way the club approaches the league. Relief uh, to be in, and then kind of quite a lot of emotion actually, because we've all worked so hard to get here and to be part of this. And we never thought it would happen. We'd never thought we'd have a great British women's football team, and now we're here and just loving every moment. But you know, really looking forward to getting out and playing. My role as captain as well. I have to take responsibility, and it is my role to, to make sure that the players are focused, that they know what they're doing, you know, and that they can lean on me if they need to for, for advice and, and knowledge. And we've got quite a few experienced players in our squad now. Most players have played in major tournaments, World Cups or European Championships and that will bode well going into this tournament. I think personally I know what I want to achieve um, and I'm sure every player in the squad knows what they want to achieve and, and you know we are Olympians for a reason you know and we're here to, to do well um, but you know collectively it's every game as it comes you know first game is New Zealand we need to focus on winning that game and we need to focus on getting out of the group and, and then we'll go from there. The fact that we opened the Olympics in the first game the fact that we're the first game of it live on BBC is a huge thing you know and it, it could build a platform for us for all young girls watching <coughs> Women, watching people that have maybe never seen the game before are going to take an interest and it's on a global stage as well so it's an opportunity to market women's football and, and hopefully we can put on a good show.